Hey guys, Mason here, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a sword in Blender. So yeah, so first, once you join in, just go ahead and do all and X to delete everything in here. So yeah, also, if you're confused at any point in this video, you can just look at the bottom right down here, and it shows all of my controls. So yeah, so we can just go ahead and click this right here, or we can go ahead and click 1 to go into this point of view. And basically, just go ahead and find a picture of a sword that you want to make. And then just go ahead and go Shift A to add and go Image, then Reference. Then go ahead and choose your reference image. Alright, here we go. We have our reference image right here. Let's go ahead and click R to rotate it. And go ahead and rotate it like that. Actually, we can do R, then like Y, then 180. There we go. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and move it up a little bit and all right. Now once you're right here, just go ahead and go Shift A, then go Mesh, then go ahead and add a plane. Then just go ahead and rotate it. So we're going to do R, then X, then 90 to rotate like that. And we're also going to go ahead and move this back just like this. So now once you have this, go ahead and click Tab, collect these, click these little dots right here, or you could just go ahead and click two or one so one to just go like that and go ahead and select these three points right here go ahead and click x then delete vert vertices then just go ahead and grab this one and go ahead and put it right at the tip of your sword blade right here and basically what you want to do just go ahead and outline the blade don't do this right here just the blade right now so let's go ahead and outline this so basically just go ahead and click e to extrude it just like this and I'll just go ahead and do keep doing that and go ahead and go all the way down the blade just like this and there we go so now that we have this outline just go ahead and grab these two vertices up here go ahead and click them both both do right click merge vertices then at first now it's kind of like this so we're going to go ahead and click g just to move it like that and there we go now we have this nice outline of the sword so now what we're going to go ahead and do don't worry about this bottom pit bit right here just go ahead and go back up here go ahead and select these two dots just like this and go ahead and click f to connect them and just go ahead and do this all along the blade And all right, now that that is done for the whole weapon, now we can just go ahead and go out of that, click tab, click on this back one, and just go ahead and click H to hide that for now. Then go back in this view, and go ahead and click on it, and go back into tab. And now that's just like this, we want to make it solid. So yeah, so basically, go ahead and click 2, or just click on this little thing right here to go ahead and select the edges. So now go ahead and select these three right here. Go ahead and click F, and there you go. Now just go ahead and click this one right here, then this one F, this one, this one F. Yeah, basically just go ahead and follow this all the way down. All right, now we are done. So now as you can see, it's like solid, but it's flat like this. So now what we're going to do, go ahead and go into like basically any one of these you want, but I'm going to go ahead and do the face one. So now go ahead and click all. A to like select all and now go ahead and go into this view right here or whichever view you want and just go ahead and click E to extrude it just like this you can make it however thick you want if you want it to be super thin like this or like big like this you can but I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this that's about a good size now as you can see it's like solid but it's like not sharpened now what you want to do go ahead and go back into edit mode do control R and go ahead and add a loop cut right down the middle. Make sure you move it so it goes right down the middle just like that. And also whenever you're doing a loop cut, if you like do it like this and you click and you like move it or whatever, just go ahead and right click and it will center it just like that. Now once you have it like this, you can go ahead and scale it or whatever. So let's go ahead and do S then X to scale it on the X axis just like this. 
So there we go, that's actually working pretty well. Then you can go ahead and do a Z to do it like that. And there we go, this one actually was super easy. So boom, there we go. Now it kind of looks kind of weird, so we're going to go ahead and do this again to select the vertices. And now just go ahead and select the vertices you want to move. Then you can go ahead and click G to move them. And then you can just do this for your whole sword to make it look better. See these ones, these ones look good so we don't need to mess with those. But then these ones right here are a little bit too close. So I'm going to go ahead and select these, move them away a little bit to make that a little bit sharper. Then these ones, I don't want these like this. I want to move these upward. There we go. And nice. So now this blade looks pretty good. Maybe right here it can be a little bit bigger. So there we go. And all right, now it's looking good. All right, now once you got this, you have your nice sword. You got the whole blade and everything. Now it's time for the handle. So let's go ahead and go up here to the top right. Go ahead and click on that little eyeball to go ahead and bring the background image back. Now go into edit mode, then go ahead and do shift A. And go ahead and add a cylinder just like that. Then go ahead and click S to go ahead and scale it down. And now this is going to be the handle. So right down here. So go ahead and make it like around the same size-ish. And there we go. That's about the same size. Now let's go ahead and grab the top of that circle just like this. And now go ahead and scale this one with the thing. So let's go ahead and scale it like this. This one gets a little bit bigger. Then goes a little bit smaller again just like this. So let's go ahead and do that. It doesn't have to be perfect because these are actually going to be like inside the handle pretty much. So let's go ahead and move this down just like this. And now it's time for those parts right there. All right, so for those parts, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and grab one vertice. We're going to do shift D to duplicate it and just go ahead and move right there. So what we're basically going to do, we're going to go ahead and trace this just like we did for the blade. So let's go ahead and trace it. It's kind of covering it so we can actually click Z and then click wireframe just like this. And now we can see it more clearly. So just go ahead and click G to move it like that. Then E to extrude it all the way down here. And then go ahead and slowly move it just like this. Then once we do this, we can actually control D this and do it right on the bottom. And there we go. We are now pretty much done. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click E one more time. Grab both of those points. Right click merge at first. Then just go ahead and move them like that. There we go. Now that we have this thing right here, again, it is flat. So what we're going to go ahead and do, select one of the vertices, then click L to select that whole thing. Then now go ahead and go ahead and click F just like that. And now it should be solid. Let's go ahead and go back into solid mode. There we go. Now that one is solid. So we're going to go ahead and grab this whole face right here. And now let's go ahead and move it like about right there. The handle, we can move the handle in just a second. Yeah, let's go ahead and select all of this, then go ahead and go into this view. E to extrude it, and just about right there. All right, now that we got the handle right here, let's go ahead and select this face, click L, and move it upwards a little bit. There we go. Now let's go ahead and click the handle, L. Let's go ahead and move this and center it. We actually need to scale it down a little bit. Also, if it like doesn't fit properly like this, you can always go ahead and like see which axis it's on. Which this one we need to scale it down on the Y axis. So let's go ahead and do S, Y to make it skinnier just like that. And I'll go ahead and move it back in the middle and a little bit downward. And there we go. Let's go ahead and see how it looks. Yeah, maybe a little bit over. And yeah, that's pretty much good. It doesn't have to be perfect. Back into this view, we're going to go ahead and select this. Click L to select it all, then do Control D, and now we have another one. And now what we're going to do, we're going to do R, then X 180, just like that. So now we have it right here, and now we're going to go ahead and move it just like this all the way to the bottom. And there we go, make sure it looks right, and there we go. Nice, now we have our sword, and now we can do extra details to make it look even better. So you can also go ahead and do shade smooth just like that. It looks weird to so go ahead and select this one right here. This little triangle looking thing. Go to normals, then auto smooth. And there we go. And if it still looks a little bit weird, you can either move it upward or downward. 
which in this case I'm going to move it downward a little bit. There we go. And basically that just like smooths everything off. Like this handle right here, you can no longer see like every little bump and everything. And yeah. And now once you have this, you can do even more details if you want to make it look better. Like for these handles, they look a little bit like sharp right there. So I'm going to do, I'm going to select this, 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 and this. And I'm going to do SY to make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to do Control B to bevel it just like that. And there we go. Now they look a little bit better. So yeah, so this works with like any sword that you want to make. Some swords are harder than others and take like a lot of extra time. We have this one, super simple sword. And yeah, that's going to be all for this video though. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see y'all in the next video.